And you guys thought I would stop here. No. Okay, first off, I apologize since it's been a few days since I've been uh, adding a new installment. Um, oh yeah, this is the this is where your extra characters go when they're not on the campaign board. I was just looking at it real quick. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, for those that do know, uh, I started my job with Best Buy this week, and Modern Warfare 3 was out, so Let's I've been a bit busy <laughs> between the two. Uh, uh, been training for like a few days at Best Buy, preparing for Black Friday and everything, and uh, there's still a lot of shit I need to learn. I'm not, I'm not prepared to... <laughs> Uh, I, I like I've barely been able to touch the computer since this the department uh, the cell phones and Best Buy it's so busy. Um, like the, the guys I'm working with they barely have uh, the time to teach me. <laughs> so I, I do whatever small things I can help in the meantime and maybe answer some basic questions regarding phones or directing customers to other departments and whatnot. Uh, and other than that. Um, I, when I get home, I, my friends want me to play Modern Warfare 3 with them, and gosh darn it, I'm not going to fall behind the curve there, but, um, so right now we have to first pass the bill for the Dark Hero Show to even fight Axel, and right now I'm just resetting for a good percentage, 47 would have been fine, I probably could have accepted that. Which one number do I end up going? 51. There we go. It's above 50. Uh, yeah. So, been pretty, pretty busy. Been pretty tired, and just have not had the time or energy to talk <laughs> or upload the installment. Yes, I will finish Sonic Generations as well. I'm not just gonna leave that right before the final boss. I still have to finish that game, obviously. Um. Uh been pretty good but you know I, I wish I had more than a week than just a week to play it because I was having fun doing all the extra missions and uh, getting S ranks and going as fast as I could in those levels but what are you gonna do game priority oh man you're gonna be so flooded once Christmas comes around uh, I mean I know a lot of uh, Skyrim came out this week as well and you, you know I, I've never really played the Elder Scrolls games. When I was in Japan and I had uh, more time on my hands, um, so one of my friends had a bunch of PS3 games and uh, I asked to borrow Oblivion. And I tried that out for a while and oh man, I'm sorry, that that is just not my kind of game. Which is funny because I absolutely love Fallout. I love Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. But there's just something about this Lord of the Rings kind of setting that just not just does not harmonize with me, if you will. Not that it strikes a chord, it's not really irritating, I, I just have trouble getting into it. Uh, ye old um, fantasy has never been my strong suit. Um, but let's watch the cutscene real quick. A single wish started it all. Why? Why me? Yet, it was a deep, this is unforgivable. I hate it. And strong wish. What? You bastard! What did you just say to me? I said I can't do that because I've got something else more important to do right now, dude. You... Are you serious? Yes, dude. You, nameless printing. Do you know what will become of you if you disobey R, the Prinny Instructor's orders? Yeah, dude! I already died once and became a Prinny. I'm not afraid to die again, dude. Besides, this thing I've got lined up is totally worth risking my life, dude. What exactly is so important that it can make the most non-committal Prinny say this? What else could it be? Today's the day of President Axel's Dark Hero Live Show, dude! Axel's show? Is that really worth risking your life over? Huh? <laughs> like, duh, dude! Are you crazy or something? President Axel's Dark Hero Live Show is like the most legendary event ever, dude! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm in the netherworld, dude! Otherwise, I wouldn't get to see his show! 
gotten pretty popular around here. He did say he was going to paint the netherworld his colors. Desco didn't think that, that was possible. But he did it. No, that Axel? This is stupid! Everybody in the netherworld's invited! So you guys better hurry, or you won't find a seat, dude! Prinnies are disobeying orders, and Axel has become super popular. There must be something behind these abnormalities, my lord. Indeed! Let's go to the Dark Hero live show and get to the bottom of this! I'm brighter than the stars in the sky! My awesomeness is known worldwide! Kick and attack, Axel Scramble, go! Blaze up and up! B-L-A-Z-E-U-P! Axel, even the sun is jealous of this hot-blooded dark hero! Who? Who is he? Uh, who? It's me, President Axel! Oh, Netherworld, follow my lead! What was that bull? Was he just sleep talking? He seemed to be awake, so maybe it was some kind of new age spell? He gathered everybody here to make them listen to this garbage? The demons are gonna riot after that! That... That was awesome! President Axel! What? That was sweet! <laughs> I just drew a third peg leg, dude! Axel! That was such a perfect dark poem! <laughs> the tears won't stop streaming down my face! That was a poem? And everyone seems to love it. This is an insult to all poets in the universe. Hey, you! Did you just insult President Axel? What? Who did? I'll kill him! <laughs> well, well. Look who it is. So what do you say? The residents of the netherworld have been tainted by my greatness. You bastard. How did you deceive all of them? Deceive? <laughs> Please. The only tools I needed were my songs and my poems. You idiot. Who would fall for that? You must have used a spell or something. <laughs> You're just jealous of my awesome poetry and my super popularity. Shut up! No one's jealous of you here. It's okay. You don't have to deny it. I'll cleanse your filthy, jealous hearts with my beautiful vocals. Now, prepare to be enraptured by my voice and my song. Would you take a look at this frickin' mob? Level 100, like the final boss. Now shit gets serious. Um... Yeah, this is White Tiger, which is uh, Axel's theme. This is back in Disgaea too. I played that song way too much in that game. But look at all these monsters! These guys are not gonna be easy to take out. And actually, truth be told, um, I died the first time I tried this. I didn't try that hard. I mean, I, I gave it a somewhat honest go, but uh, immediately afterwards, I didn't want to grind. I'm like, I knew exactly what I could do differently to beat them. And I do, the second time. This one's actually a failed attempt. So, uh, you're, I, I didn't stre See, this is just one of the cases where, um, you need proper strategy. In a strategy RPG game? Who'd have thunk it? But seriously. Um, you know, watch, this doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't go my way. The first time it had any way. Where's Robin? Um, yes, yeah, Skyrim. Uh, 
really debating whether or not I should get that game. Uh, cause yeah, I, I played Oblivion for a few hours. Um, the, just the dialogue, the lore, it's all so foreign sounding to me. And just not something I can get into. Which is weird. I mean, I, I like Zelda, which is like light fantasy. That, that's that's kind of easy to get into. But like, I'm, I'm reading words in these, um, on these scrolls that have like, I'm like, no shit, I'm not shitting you, like three apostrophes in it. I'm like, and if I can't even pronounce the names of the places I'm supposed to be going to, I have a hard time to connect to that. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does Desko have her last? We do. We have Yog Sothoth. And see, I I could take out one of those groups in one hit with that. Um which I'm too lazy to do for whatever reason. Don't be like me. Actually do that. Uh, you'll see it later. Uh, yeah, uh... It's funny because, you know, I played... Uh, I love Fallout 3, New Vegas. I played both of them twice, actually. I, I even made a perfect character in, the fir in Fallout 3, and I got, um... And, you know, I, I, I finished the game with all three factions in New Vegas. Although I never, I never did... Um, make a perfect character in that, and I never did get any of the DLC. I'm debating whether or not to do that. D I, I only downloaded two DLC for the original, and that was kind of hit or miss. Mainly because the DLC, one of the DLCs is required to... Ex it, it extends the level from 20 to 30, so that's how it's possible. Much easier to get perfect uh, stats. Um, just something I wanted to do. Um, but I, I was more interested in the world, the the um, post Armageddon with the weird technology and everything. That uh, it, it kind of reminded me of Bioshock with the old 40s radio. And so I, I don't know why, but I, I really like that kind of music just for uh, atmosphere. I just think it's very entertaining. Um, but but that went away. Dude. Yeah. I think it's boss. Um. Yeah, it, it was just very appealing to me. Uh, I just couldn't couldn't get into Oblivion. I'm, but I kind of want to give Skyrim a shot. A lot of people seem to really be into it. Uh, I know a lot of people right now are playing Skyrim. Uh, you know, maybe for Christmas, maybe after Christmas, I'll be able to play. I know it's going to take a long ass time to play, but you know, the exploring, doing quests, I'm down with that. And I, I don't like using magic and improving skills and stuff. It's, I, I guess, I just have a hard time getting drawn into the setting, and the story, characters. The, that that was the cool thing about Fallout: the characters. They were all so quirky and. You know, there was a lot of really funny humor in a, in a lot of the parts. Some really weird situations. Um, I don't know. I, I think maybe it, the other one takes itself too seriously. I, I just found it hard to follow. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll get into that. What was I talking about? Bye guys. Holy shit, I cannot remember what I was talking about. I mean, fancy games. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do um, Skyward Sword. Um, I have some reservations about the game, actually, because I was listening to a podcast off game trailers, and they weren't terribly impressed with it. Oh, check out his um, custom moves. God is for his name. That I like. Oh, so much better in Japanese. Anyway, um, yeah, they were saying it, it just feels dated, apparently, and um, 
there's like artificial padding. It doesn't feel super intuitive, even with Wii Motion Plus. Um, and you know, compared to other adventure games that are, you know, HD, it's just feeling behind the times, no voice acting, and you know. I understood the defense back in 2006. Wow, he's muted again. That was fast. In 2006, when he did the, um, with Twilight Princess. Because that was a good game. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't own a 360 or PS3 yet at the time when I played that game. So that part didn't bother me. But I have to admit, the games have come a long way, and, you know, I was actually kind of hoping for a lot more major improvements in the series by this time, and and then I see the gameplay, and I'm like, eh, you know, maybe the sword play will be good, but I, I have no idea, I haven't played it yet, I'm still gonna hold off. And there I go. <laughs> Didn't have much of a chance, did I? Or did... Oh yeah, you get a trophy for getting a game over. My first one, apparently. Um... But this time, victory shall be mine, and I will strategize better. Gotta eliminate, uh, don't think that those cronies in the beginning aren't a threat. They will gang the, they will gang up on you and rape you. Uh, but... <sighs> yeah, saying some, some of the Wii motions don't always work, and it's really frustrating. Yeah, no voice acting, still in SD, which I, which I can get by. Um, you know, it just feels dated. I think ultimately I'm gonna really like the game. I mean, it's, a, it's a Zelda game, but I hope it's fun. I hope it's challenging, and not for poor control reasoning. It, it better be like challenging to figure out and maybe to fight enemies. Because you know Zelda games aren't really the hardest games. Maybe, maybe when you were a kid they were they seemed pretty tough, but you know at my age you can kind of blaze through these Take games. This. I mean, I, I got through Here all the I dungeons go. in uh, the Spirit Tracks, which is the last Zelda game I played in without pretty much any hassle whatsoever. It was a shame. Um, well, what are you going to do? Uh, but I'm going to wait for the full review. You know, he said he, he wasn't all the way to the end of the game. I'm sure I'm going to like it. It's, it's a fucking game. And as far as the 3D go, games go, I have yet to be disappointed. Ocarina of Time, debatably the best game of all time. I've played it probably at least seven times. And um, once again on the 3DS, I probably I probably like, personally, Majora's Mask a bit more. Even though I might concede Ocarina of Time being the better game. I don't know, it really depends. Because uh, nostalgia has a lot to do with that, being the first 3D Zelda game you ever play. But I really enjoyed Majora's Mask, and then, you know, there was a long-ass gap between that and Twilight Princess, like six years. I don't know, did Twilight, did Majora's Mask come out in 1999 or 2000? I want to say 2000. So that would be six years, which is a long time, and, uh, you know, I played Majora's Mask when I was 14 years old. That's probably, like, the perfect age for Zelda games at that point. Um... You know, smart enough to Take smart this. enough to figure out the puzzles on your own, and not get stuck, and uh, young enough to really get pulled into the world and everything like that. Uh, that that game was a privilege to play. Same with the Ocarina at twelve. Um, yeah, and then you know, come. near the end of. You know, near late college for me in 2006. Not gonna lose. Yes, and that right now on. I'm Here 20. And you know, now I can figure out these puzzles like much easier. And now I'm now I'm starting to base my Zelda uh, love off of Stouch at this point. Now I'm 25. So, but you know what? Um. I actually think a lot of the newer Mario games are some of the best ga Mario games ever. The Galaxy games are great. New Super Mario is pretty good too. Super Mario 3D Land should be pretty damn fun. Finally, a new game on the 3DS. I only have the Ocarina of Time 3D. So, uh, but up, uh, I'm gonna get 3D Land and Mario Kart, obviously. 
of probably another Nintendo games. I'm surprised Kid Icarus isn't out yet. Would have, wouldn't mind playing that. And I hope they make more Metroid Prime games on the 3DS. Well, pers actually, I thought they should have made more Metroid Prime games on the Wii. I fucking love Metroid Prime. Um, and, you know, I still haven't played Metroid Other M. Uh, a lot of men. <laughs> not the best reception regarding that game. As so it seems. But, uh, ever since Metroid Prime, the original, I really come to like the series. Um, Prime games especially. Went back and played Super Metroid. Very good game, but, um,. You know, I didn't grow up with it like with, like a lot of other people did. I didn't even have a Super Nintendo. Um, so I, I started late on that franchise. And, and I played the Game Boy Advance games, and those are good too. Pretty hard, in fact. But um, Retro Studios is a very talented publisher, and I, you know, it was prime for the Wii. They got, they got it down with the with the aiming and the controls, and it was great. I mean, they really should just made another um, Wii Metroid game by Retro, the first person style. It works. It works really well. I mean, I had high hopes. I mean, Ninja Gaiden, they're uh, Yeah, the guys made Ninja Gaiden Tecmo. They're, uh, they're a capable company. But I'll, I'll see how, what I think of that game when I play it. Maybe I'll even let's play it. Who knows? Although, I'm debating whether or not I should start to stick to games I've already played. I think my commentary is better when I know the game, because people actually tell me they appreciate how to how to play the game as I go about. People like the, the character analyses in this. Um, they like me giving out strategies, stuff like that. So, you know, in Sonic Generations, when I'm recording live, uh... You know, the thing about the Sonic games is it's really it's only a bit more entertaining if uh, if you know the if you know the level in and out and you're able to run through it pretty uh, pretty smoothly. I mean, you saw me die a few times in, in those games <laughs> in, uh, in those levels. However, if I went to like do it now, I could probably I could talk about the levels, I could talk more freely, and I could perform better. So maybe I'm not. So maybe out after. Um, Skyward Sword. Maybe I'll stick to games that I've played before. We'll see. We'll see. Here I come. <laughs> Axel even hasn't even moved off his perch. I must have. Pro uh, I must have. <laughs> um. Progressed way too far the first time. Here I go! As you can see, I'm doing a lot better than the first time. I don't even think anybody's died yet. Thank God for Giant Desco. Oh man. It's showtime! Ready? Ready? Oh, oh yeah, and I don't know why I keep thinking it's a good idea, but I thought I had I had a meeting at 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 Best Buy at like uh, 7 a.m. and my friends wanted to hang out, and one of my friends moved to New York, so I didn't see him as often anymore. So we hung out for a few hours, and they didn't leave my place until like. Ish, or so. Around that time, I'm like, oh, I, if I fell asleep right now, I would only get three hours of sleep. So I'm like, screw it. I then I go have a monster and an, and an espresso, and I try to stay up the rest of the night and then go to the meeting. And it's never a good idea. Never get no sleep. You just feel. Horrible. Even an hour of sleep is better than no sleep. If you're in college, or you're about to be, and you think pulling an all-nighter is a good idea, it's not. I mean, you'll do them, and you might think it's a good idea to stay all the way up until 9 a.m. until your test. No. No, no, no. I don't care what you 
how much you more you need to study. Get at least two hours. One hour ain't gonna cut it. You, you try to get two hours. I think you can get some REM, which stands for rapid eye movement, sleep, in there in that amount of time. Because, oh god, if you're like me, if, when you're sleep deprived, uh, yeah, yeah, you're groggy, obviously, but, um, I, I twitch because I'm trying to keep myself alert. Uh, I get nauseous, which is the part that bothers me the most. I hate getting nauseous so much. Like, I would rather just stick my fingers down my throat and force myself to puke than to, sta than to uh, stand, than to continue being nauseous. It's like, oh god, just get it over with. Alright, now he's nice and close to me and I can take care of him. Ugh. So yeah, there's that, and there's the caffeine. Uh, it's just not a pretty combination. Ugh. I mean, we all we all pull one at some point, and I didn't even have to study. Oh god, that is the worst. Don't be like me in, st in, in college and just cram before a test. Be a good student, kids. Just... <laughs> Read a little bit every night, just just a half hour, even. I know what the fuck you're studying. Cramming sucks so bad. You don't retain the knowledge, and if you stay up all night, your your short term you actually exhibit short term memory loss when you're sleep deprived. So all the stuff you're cramming, you don't retain the knowledge. How ironic. <sighs> like you would have been better off studying two hours as opposed to eight and sleeping the rest. True story. Cool story, bro. Yeah, I know. Mm. Oh, yeah. Should have gone over Laharl. I'll do that next time. Um, outside of the event character battles, um, I can also upload Mount Ordeals and some of the X Dimension. I did a lot of it Especially when I had um, level quad nine characters, because then it wasn't that hard to go through all the levels. I'm debating whether not to show my earlier ones, where it takes me a lot of trial and error to get some of these. This is one big combo. <sighs> Sorry. Of course, eventually, I will probably get to a point where I can't go play any more videos because I have no more footage. And I still don't have a PS3. And I probably won't have a PS3 for a little bit. Like that. Go train. They're all butt humping each other. Oh wow, all four again. Oh, this is my favorite. Uh... Don't really get the point of the play though. Woo! That'll do it. And <laughs> just that, yeah, thank you for coming closer. Oh, she's there. Bye, Zelda. Oh, I guess I left this behind. Sure, why not? Die already! Why can't I make giant 
pieces or swords. It's just not fair. <laughs> not bad for a pretty instructor. But this is only the beginning of my Dark Hero show. The main part starts now. Everyone, give me your power. I want to hear you scream. Huh? What are you talking about? Why do we get a scream, dude? That doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? What am I doing here? Me too. I'm feeling a little sick. I should probably go home and sleep. Yeah, sounds good to me too. Hey, what's going on? My crazy fans have hightailed it like phantoms! Looks like knocking them around has cleared Axel's spell. Excellent. Everyone has gained their consciousness back. The Netherworld is back to its normal self. Problem solved. We still don't know the cause of all that, but... well... Hang on a sec! The problem now is that my fans have disappeared in the blink of an eye! Guys, you've got to help me solve this mystery! Even if it's a presidential order, we can't make the impossible possible. Your fans were non-existent to begin with. You're lying, meanie! This netherworld has definitely been influenced by my greatness! Meanie? How old are you, three? Okay, I I've got the perfect solution! To earn back all of my lost fans, we're gonna form a special team! I call it President Axel and his bodyguards! Lord Val, are you going to approve of this? Well, it may not be what we desire, but it is a presidential order. You're actually enjoying this, aren't you? I don't know about this. His idiotness might be contagious. They say there's no cure for that. We'll never recover if we catch his idiotness. Ooh! Desco definitely doesn't want to become an idiot! Don't worry, I can promise you this. As someone who's been around all of you, idiocy is not contagious. Then it should be okay. Big Sis, he just totally insulted us. Okay, now let's go solve this mystery and bring the Axelness back to this netherworld.